All right, everybody, we have a ceremony to attend. Well, didn't we have one like a couple months ago with the whole uh, ceremony after the Praetorium? All that good crap? Ushered in Seventh Astra Era? No? No? Okay. Oh, hi, you two. Yeah, I'm gonna stay over here with my man M and my cinnamon roll. You guys can stay over here. Well, thank you, Nishtola. I guess you can stay with us too, but. The appointed hour approaches. Cryo, whatever. Whatever her name is. Thank Red, I really don't like you right now. Aye. So are things gonna go better this time? Oh, so she did make it. Okay, well, I'm glad. She begged leave to watch the proceedings. I saw no reason not to grant it. Uh, she better actually be, uh, properly restrained. I don't want to repeat of what already happened. She did roofie me. Can she not pay for at least that crime? Should I choose to deviate from my prepared remarks? I ask that you trust in my judgment. Have I ever done otherwise? Well, I guess that whole crap about convincing the convictors to make sure they don't shoot her was apparently successful, I guess. Hi! I'm glad you made it here, okay? Ah, Thank you for coming. How long it hath been since our peoples met thus, children of Thordon, even by our reckoning. Vidofnir. Daughter of Hresvelga, we give thanks for your visit, and bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. Uh, is this microphone on? Hi, I don't think anyone can hear you. Our sire bade us hearken unto the whispers of our hearts. They spoke to us of a paradise lost, of bonds of brotherhood which they yearned to see restored. Ours too yearn for such a restoration. And they have guided us here this day, that they might yearn no longer. No riots? Okay, all right, good. Good, good, good. Brothers and sisters, ye who stand as witness, hark unto me. Yeah, they're already looking at you, Sir Amarok. Since the days of Eld, when the bonds betwixt man and dragon were sundered by our hand, our peoples have known only war. Bloodshed without end, losses beyond counting, and still we fought, and still we fought. Some wounds do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. But we the living can yet choose another course. Here and now, we can lay down this burden, this hatred, this vengeance. Our forebears fought not so that we could die, but that we might live. So let us honor their sacrifice and spare our children this death sentence. Let us gift them a new legacy. Life. Yes, thank you for expositing on what I've been bitching about the past several episodes. Thank you, Sir Emmerich. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, did that move you to tears? Well, I hope it did, and I hope that hurt, and I hope that stung. Betwixt our peoples yawneth a divide deeper than the deepest abyss. Wider than the widest sea. 
Generations will live and die ere this divide is bridged. Knowing this, doth thy heart yet yearn for peace, son of Thorden? Um, yes. Yes, that is why we're all here. Look now on the legacy we would leave to our children. A dream of peace, inscribed in stone for generations to come. you guys the dream nice they touch. Shared shall be ours once more okay I hear cheering I don't hear looting I don't hear pillaging I don't hear rioting this is a good sign good sign Never! fuck no 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 Oh, fuck no. Son of a bitch! Your bow! You motherfucking bastard. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Okay, that is creepy. Ew! Child of Dravania, art thou grown so forgetful that thou wouldst forsake kith and kin and consort with the spawn of Thornton? That thou wouldst dare contemplate peace? Hearken unto me, all of you. The final chorus is nigh, and all will be held to account. All will bathe in the flames of retribution. Till the coming of that day, look you on your sins and despair, for none shall escape my wrath. None shall escape my revenge! Seven hells. Yeah, I'd be pissing my pants right about now, too. Yeah, that, 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 that about sums up my reaction right about now. Damn you, Nidhogg. So, you had a chance to fry ourselves right now, and you're gonna scarpel off, you little coward. Fuck you! Fuck you, Nidhogg! Just fuck you! Hells, take that worm! While he lives, we'll never know peace. Aye, there'll be no end to this war till Nidhogg is dead and gone! So let's kill the bastard and be done with it! Death to Nidhogg! Death to Nidhogg! Uh, what are we gonna tell Daddy Horace Fulgar about this? I I'd imagine he'd Death be none to too pleased. Death to Nidhogg! 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 Okay, not that I disagree with where this angry mob is going, but I wish to kind of avoid it! Come on, guys! Like, really? Really? Oh! You 
guys are hopeless! Fuck that guy. Or dragon. I will get you, Nidhogg. This is personal. Your motherfucking ass is gonna pay. You took my friend. You abused him. You stabbed another friend of mine. You just made yourself number one on my fucking hit list, you asshole. Bitch, need I remind you, I am the warrior of light. I have bested you before. You may have two eyes now, but you know what? I got powerful friends, too. I know where you live, bitch. Yeah, but it's for the actual person, thing, creature, dragon, whatever, who is, you know, spewing violence and hatred among us and not fighting amongst our, each other anymore. That's something, isn't it? Oh, she's okay. Okay, she's okay. Phew. Phew. All right. All right. So, so but often you're still among the living. Okay. All right. Phew. We are kind of worried about that. So yeah, what the hell is this been a patch about? Yeah, let's just let's just st just smack Elfino right in the field a thousand times over and just pray he doesn't become the next super villain. Okay, all right. Well, we did kind of promise you. Aww. What about the manor? What about the solar and the rising stones? Well, well, I suppose Camp Dragonhead is a bit closer, but but why there? Hi. Um, sorry your lord died. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, if you actually come back here, uh, they will they will express their bit of their grief and you know explore you know expose it on that. He was beloved by every man, woman, and child in Camp Dragonhead, and yeah, they're feeling his loss pretty hard. Is that how Coco? Forgive me. That took longer than expected. I'm guessing he had to go shopping for the marshmallows. You seem puzzled. Oh, these. I thought something warming might not go amiss. It was not all that long ago that we sat here, you and I, in our very own falling snows, as Lord Horshvon called it. I still struggle to believe he is gone. And Azel too. I had such hopes for her. Master Matoya asked me what it was all for. Why we fight, and why we die. Were I still commander of the Braves, I would doubtless have replied, for the future of Eorzea. But I'm not that man. Not anymore. I needed a new answer. One that I could live with. And when I saw Estinian at the ceremony, I knew at last what it was. Okay. All right. I do not want to be a man who sacrifices his friends and family for a cause. I want to fight for Astinian, and I want to save him. But how are we going to do that? When Nidhogg leads the Horde into battle, Ser Emmerich and his forces will do what they believe must be done. That is their choice to make. Yet even if Ser Emmerich is willing to forsake Astinian, I am not. We must fight for him. For he is our friend and ally. We may struggle, we may fail, but we must try. 
Okay, I don't think this was ever a question, but yes, we shall do that. If this is what keeps you going, mate, I'm with you. This has been a very depressing last couple days or... Oh, it made the feels, guys! Sure. We'll find a way to save him. We gotta at least try. Let's just try. We will. I know we will. I mean, he's still among the living. Technically. Sort of. Hopefully. But yeah, like this, like I said, this whole patch is like, holy shit, let's just like, just hit him in the feels like a thousand times over. Oh my god. It's okay. You need someone to talk to. It's alright. It's okay. Yes, let's go to Tataru. She always knows how to keep us cheered up. All the time. Even so, I find it interesting that with everything that's happened in this patch, and yes, once again, I've been sitting here recording this last six, maybe seven episodes, I've lost count by now, in a single session. And where the hell was I going with this thought? That, oh yeah, that he's, despite what he's been told and what he's been through, he's, sta he's staying actually pretty damn optimistic. And I have to give him a lot of credit for that. Because even when, like, I've said, I know I said this in an earlier episode, when he's down, he doesn't stay down for very long. The worst he had it was during, you know, his stupor after what happened to the Crystal Blaves, and that was pretty well warranted. But I'm just, like, worried, like, something else is gonna make him, you know, absolutely just snap, and he's not gonna pull himself out of this pit of, you know, pit of despair. I mean, he's a teenager for fuck's sake! But yeah, I'm not gonna blame Sir Emmerich what, one bit for doing what needs to be done in with regards to Istinian because he has a nation to protect. And I'm sure Istinian himself is not going to give two shits if he lives or dies as long as it rids the world of Nidhogg in the process. That's what he fought for. It was something he was willing to die for. So while I do think we should at least try to see if we can save him, and not just throw him under the bus and be like, oh, well, we didn't have a choice. At the same time, that might be the only choice in the end that we do have. And I'm not sure Alphano has actually accepted that. Yeah, like, including what the fuck we're actually supposed to do with the gifts Heidelin gave us. I believe you were present in the room when I gave that rant. Well, fourth wall breaking and all that, but shh. Shit, that doesn't matter right now. Okay, well, I've seen that they clean off the mural. Of all the ways for it to end. Even before his transformation, I could feel the worm's hatred swirling about Estinian. The terrible, all-consuming rage. Enough to fuel a thousand-year quest for vengeance. It was all I could do not to run away screaming. But Ishgardians, nay, all Eorzeans, are made of sterner stuff. They face danger and death on a daily basis and understand what it takes to win a war. Think not too deeply on Master Matoya's words. Her intent was but to steal our resolve. Yeah, but at the same time, again, you're Charleans. You do not like this concept of war. You consider it barbaric. You really haven't 
Cryo, at least, you know, having not really been to Eorzea before, or at least it's nothing's ever said that she's ever been here before, that this is kind of a new concept to you guys. I'm sure it was a new concept to you as well, Yashola, when you came over here with Master Luisa and all that. Because this is something you've never had first-hand experience with, and getting it now, yeah, it is going to be a little bit jarring to actually understand this concept, because... To your peoples who, who who live in peace and know nothing of war and, and eschew it at every cost, know nothing about this. And it's not your fault, but... That, and to remind us to look beyond these passing conflicts to trials greater still. To the truth which hides at the heart of this world. So that's your aim, is it? You disapprove? Not at all. I believe it's traditional for the student to follow in the footsteps of the master. And you are so very alike. Yeah, I'm assuming you're 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 also intending the 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 kind of a heinous bitch part about it. Yeah, because your stola definitely fits that bill. I'm sorry, 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 you stola fans. It is true. One reason why I don't like her. I mean, credit where credit is due, at least Matoya is not trying to hide her harsh words behind some sanctimonious bullshit. Change. That great inexorable wave was upon us, and soon all of Ishgard would bend to its will. For all our sins, for all our scars, the future for which we had long yearned was at last within our grasp. But it would be bought at a heavy price. For in those twilight hours, did Nidhogg cry out for vengeance, and his brethren raised their voices for the final chorus of the Dragon Song War. Hi guys! You know, it would be nice of you to join us back in Revenant's Toll eventually. What are you guys doing, by the way? What is so damn important that you can't at least phone home, metaphorically speaking, and tell us you're alive. I mean, you have the ability to teleport. You just come back to Revenant's Toll under the under the under the the, the guise of darkness. Speak to the one in the domains. Hand him a note, being like, "Hey, it's Eden and Papa Limo. If anyone's still out there and is okay, yes, we're still alive. We're on a secret mission. We can't tell you anything about it." We love you. We'll be home soon. Okay, thanks. Bye. Problem solved. Ah, poor communication kills, guys. It really does. So, yeah, we, we've been dealt uh, quite another couple of punches with what's going on here. Like, I swear we're, we're, we're fighting an uphill battle yet. But, but fight on, fight on, we must. If we don't do it, who the hell else will? We're the warrior of light. Savior of all of Eorzea. Okay, that, that's kind of quite the heavy burden to bear, and I kind of wish people would feed me more often. Well, at least feed me and not fucking roofie me. Yeah, I'd really like to know what happened to that girl. I mean, we know she lived, but what, you know, is she, is she being brought to trial? Like, what, is she going to have to pay for her crimes? Like, you know, starting the riot, you know, inciting the violence? 
fucking roofing the warrior of light. Um, we never learned about that either. Or, or, or that Patsy who stabbed Emmerich. Or the guy who set the fires. Or that asshole priest. Or his asshole guard. Whatever the hell his name was. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're, they're technically not important, but it, it would be nice to know that in a patch that literally had a huge segment of it, talk about Accepting the consequences of one's action and learning from your mistakes and everything like that. It, it's, it does it a bit of a disservice that there's not even a flavor moment from an NPC somewhere. At least it's not as far as I'm aware. Explaining what consequences other people who have committed crimes and wrongs have had to deal with it. Undermines that point just a little bit game. And M doesn't even suffer any consequences for what he did. Even though I'm... 20 times more on his side that he, he really didn't do anything. The public execution is not what he ordered there. And everyone is stretching that bullshit so fucking far. It is insane. But that's going to be it for this patch. Hooray! I completely forgot about how long it was. Oh my goodness. But that will be all for next time. We have a bigger problem on our hands. Nidhogg has cried out. For his revenge once more and nobody will be spared this time guys nobody no more let's just you know keep threatening them and and perpetuating an endless war and just making them suffer forever nope nope he's he made his dance clear that fuck you guys fuck you killing all you human elizin whatever is guardians Gervanians alike no one will be spared his wrath how are we gonna deal with him this time Whatever are we going to do? Is Vodafnir going to be okay? They said her wounds aren't mortal, but it puts her out of commission for a while. We should go pay her a visit next time. We'll, we'll let her a little rest, and then we'll pay her a, a visit at the beginning of the next patch just to make sure she's okay and kind of apologize for what happened, even though it wasn't our fault. But she is our friend. We owe that to her. Thank you for watching, friends. I will see you later.